mindset. Somebody say service. service. I have a school bus that carries children. I was the first driver. I, I forgot to tell you about the family in New York. There's a state of the Yankees in New York. There's a family that sells hamburgers in that stadium. They've been selling hamburgers there since the beginning of the stadium. And imagine how many people sit in that stadium. So look for a service. There's one of the boys who became a millionaire at the age of 26 in the UK, in Nigeria, and his name is Amos. The auntie called him to come and clean his house when she was pregnant. He went there and cleaned the house. And the auntie gave him some amount of pounds. The boy said, wow. So just cleaning the house can give you money? He went and put so, so so cleaning services. Put it in the internet. People said that calling him, calling him, calling him. Do you know within a few years he became a millionaire in the UK? In Nigeria. And those of you who are here, you can take this back home. In Nigeria, because we come from a waterlogged area in some parts, like in Lagos, our soak away pits get filled. We don't have central sewage system. I don't know if you have in Liberia central sewage system. Our own, you dig your soak away pit beside your house, and then when you flush, it goes in, into that place. And in Nigeria, it gets filled if you are living close to the water. I know a man who has trucks that empty the soak away pits. He's always very busy. Just soak away pits. Ambulance services, any service you can render, just the money comes from service. Did you learn that? Yes. Let me quickly go to savings. Somebody say savings. Yes. Say it again. Yes. BBC. <laughs> Focus now. I want because I want to move. Look up. Listen, listen. Income. It's a spring. Can we say it together? Say income is a spring. Say wealth is a lake. Did you hear me well? Yes. Income is a spring. While wealth is a lake. The salary you earn is like water pumping out of a rock. To become wealthy, you must know how to gather it. Do you understand? Yes. Does it make sense? If they pay you weekly or two weekly and you can't save from it and sometimes you owe before you earn the next salary, you will remain poor. Hey. <laughs> she laughed. All this laughing. Very happy. <laughs> Listen carefully. I don't know the calculation. But you see, if you just, that's three dollars. 
So if you buy chewing gum of three dollars every day, <laughs> chewing gum of three dollars every day for ten years, you will see how much you have spent. Then if you drink beer, I, calculate it well. Calculate three times thirty times twelve times ten. Three times thirty times twelve times ten. Ten thousand eight hundred dollars. So chewing gum for ten years. Uh, <laughs> one point zero. One. Fifteen million. One point one point five million. Almost two million. And then you know you know why people are poor. You will, you will spend this three dollars on chewing gum. You will spend another three dollars on cigarettes. You will spend another three dollars on uh, on coke. You will spend another three dollars on this. You spend another three dollars on this. And you are not spending the dollars per hour. But you work the money per hour, but you spend the money per minute or per second. And so many of us eat our destinies. A phone, your phone is still functioning. Look at that thing I gave to you. You see that the screen is cracked. The screen, the screen is cracked. I'm not buying a new one yet. It must work its money. The screen is the screen is cracked, but it's still working. You will see the poor, the rich. Look for the very rich people. Their phones are not very expensive. Go and read one book titled Poor Economics. The black man is in his house. He gets money. The first thing he will get is to buy a big plasma screen. Maybe, how much is a large one, the big one? 4000 
He told me that he bought his perfume for 18,000, one perfume 18,000 naira, another one 20,000 naira, 38,000 naira, and he's a tenant. I, Dr. Apoku, cannot buy that because I am wiser than that. So learn to be frugal. Learn to save. You must learn to save. Live a simple life. Save a lot. Do you know how much food Americans throw away? About one third or two thirds of all the food they produce. And there's no limit to what you can eat and you'll be satisfied. Do you know how Indians drink? They can, four of them can share a bottle of Coke. And the truth of the matter is that the thing, immediately the thing passes your mouth, you don't feel the taste again. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But when you invest your when you save your money, there's a prayer we pray in Nigeria. Any person, any witch worrying my money fire, witches don't worry money that are in the bank. It's money that is in the pocket and it is your mind that worries it. Somebody say, after this program, after this program I, will save. I will save very regularly. Very regularly. I did not come to this country to throw away my money. There's also a farm system like for this community. Every week you take two dollars. We don't even know how much we get. But in 10 years time, we're going to be with you. Yes. You see? So you can just go to bank and get the money. That's very bad. Two dollars. Every week? Every week, two dollars for seven, two dollars for four. And we don't even feel it. Let me quickly say this again. Somebody say real estate. Real estate. Say it again. Real estate. I will say, eh? I don't know now. One, two, services, then savings. Then the next one is real estate. Look up. Abraham's wife had not conceived Sarah. And Abraham's wife died. What did Abraham do? He bought land. Land is the only property you will own and Lord will be attached to it and it's not a sin. Land, Lord. <laughs> he who does not have a property in any nation is a passenger. Mm, 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 mm. It is when you own properties that people respect you. Don't mind this one. This world is not my home. I am just passing through. If heaven is not my own, oh Lord, what will I do? I have a loving mother just over in glory land. I cannot stop to think until I shake her hands. Now stand in front of a train. You will shake her hands very soon. A train. A train. A train. Yes. If you want to shake the hands of your loving mother in heaven very quickly, go and stand in front of a train. It will kill you and you will go there. <laughs> <laughs> then I come and see you, sir. Hey, no, you want to see your mother? <laughs> Let me just share one mystery to you. Nigerians, Israelis, Liberians, don't deceive yourselves. After the rapture, we will go up. We will come back to this earth. We will stay for a thousand years. Not so. You think that after destroying Africa, God will post you to America. You say, no, we are going back to Africa. Huh? So true. We go up. We come back. We go back again. And you will to where you are. We post you to your place of origin. Because the Bible says no inheritance shall lead one person to the other. The few of us who might be posted to other nations like Togo and Rulova, Lesotho, Burundi and the rest of it, is when you have done so much in the kingdom of God and you will be giving nations to rule over you. That's why, that's why I'm here. Not, you can't give me the money that will satisfy me. You, this church, can't give me money that will satisfy me. I am here because it is the dominion I'm exercising now that will determine the reward of dominion in future. He said he gave them according to their capacity. Now listen. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious, Leon. I, I, I run an annual conference here. 
So what I was telling your brothers here is that I want you, after the Ebola, your countries, phone your pastors there. We will go there and run these conferences there. Run these conferences there. I pay my ticket. Don't worry about that. I pay my hotel bills. Let them just gather the people. Because we must eradicate poverty. Our people cannot be working in iron ore mills, the iron mine. They take our minerals and we don't know how. Go to McKinney. You will see Lebanese and come to open shops. Everywhere. Everywhere. Our people are the ones carrying cartons. Our, our people are the ones acting as security. But our people don't count the money. Outside, our people will be selling mangoes and tomatoes. Did you notice it in Sierra Leone? It cannot continue. In my generation, no. Somebody say real estate. Real estate. I started buying land when I was young. I bought a piece of land for 11,000 naira. When I wanted to sell it, I sold it for 640,000. Please divide 600 by 640 over 11 times 100. 40 by 11 times 100. No. 640 divided by 11 times 100. 5,880 percent profit. Simple math. 